The following audio may contain the personal testimonials of some independent Optavia coaches or clients of Optavia. The results relayed in these messages are based on the unique experiences of the participants and we cannot guarantee like or similar outcomes. While you may be inspired by these accounts, please note that any stories of success have not been verified and your individual path to healthy living and weight loss will vary. As always, it is our recommendation that you consult with a healthcare provider before starting a weight loss program. In addition, this audio may contain income or earnings representations of some independent Optavia coaches. Optavia makes no guarantee of financial success. Success with Optavia results from successful sales efforts, which requires hard work, diligence, skill, persistence, competence, and leadership. Please see the Optavia Income Disclosure Statement for statistics on actual earnings of coaches under the U.S. Compensation Plan, which differs from the International Compensation Plan. Yours in health, the Optavia team. in officially in habits of health community time and we are so glad that you have joined us and so we're going to kind of get this party started let's see if this is going to work for us awesome oh we well i'm russ and this is my beautiful wife tracy scarce nice to meet you and we're here for the habits of health community time and we are going to talk to you today about some crazy stuff that everybody knows about and it's busting through a plateau. But not only that, hold Emphasis on. Emphasis on bust. We're gonna bust through, we're get it? Bust through the doors of a plateau. And we're also gonna talk to you about tips for Memorial Day, for events, for parties, for just meal choices. So we're glad that you're here with us. And again, Russ Scarce, Tracy, and tell me a little bit about us. Man, well, gosh, Russ and I have been together Fun fact, since high school, he was a wrestler and I was a wrestlerette. Super cute love story. Um, but, you know, we found ourselves uh, happy, complacent. I had had a, a child and I was pretty, pretty, pretty down and out. I had uh, gained the baby weight and never lost it. And so uh, I was introduced to Optavia by my uh, coach, Cece. Uh, she's amazing and uh, the rest was history. I lost 82 pounds uh, in about six months time. Uh, disclaimers at the bottom, but that was the story. It's a big, big deal. Uh, totally changed my life and I never turned back. You know, seeing her just progressing her journey, I was at the same spot. I was unhappy my doctor told me you're gonna not see your kids graduate from high school and that was a that was just a slap and he busted through yeah. all of the misnomers Talk about, about busting you know going to the doctor it was important and he just said you know what you need to get get straight and i saw what she was doing and i figured you know what i can do this as well he waited for a while i did he didn't get on the train right away i had to come around the tracks a couple times you and guys probably know what i'm talking about it's a perfect example it's not just a no it's not yet you know yeah. my not yet needed to be kind of coerced a little bit and when i did jump on plan i ended up losing 65 pounds i felt better as just a person and my doctor looked at me and said you're doing a great job you're doing a great job. When we look better, we feel better. When we feel better, we actually feel better. And we show up just so much better in every area of our lives. So let's, uh, let's get to the next here. So we're going to take a poll. So these Zoom polls are super cool. Um, and this poll is, which answer best describes you? Are you an Optavia coach? Are you an Optavia client? Or are you a guest? Did someone so kindly invite you here? Uh, so go ahead and, and, and take that poll. I'm going to kind of go on to the, to the next thing here. You know, there's 4,000 of you out there right now. 4,000 of you Whoa. that are watching this currently. Wow. So there now I got a, nervous. A huge Just assortment nervous. of coaches, clients, and I'm sure a lot of guests. So we're excited. Let's talk about this. This is exciting. So here, let me check our little... Uh, participation. As you can see, we've got the life book, the habits of health, and the, the app, creating the transformational system. Now, Dr. A, we love Dr. A. We oh, can't, we can't speak any higher of Dr. A than, than it's just, it gets, get kind of ridiculous. Sorry, I'm stumbling over my words. Yeah, he, he's Thinking the smartest the guy. guy we know for sure. You know, and he put together this program 
where the life book, it is incredible. It guides you through a journey. It gives you steps so that we can help ourselves correct more than just our health. It's a fitness journey, not a fitness, a, a, a mind journey. Okay, so we're getting our health, fitness, excuse me, sorry. Go ahead. <laughs> The Habits of a Health Transformational System really walks you hand in hand through this entire journey. It's a beautiful thing. Um, it, it takes you through all the elements. The app is an amazing piece of technology that is pretty new to the, to the Habits of Health Transformational System. There is a fitness component to that. As you can see, Russ likes to work out. Um, I am the opposite of that. So, But Habit of Healthy Motion is uh, always on the agenda when you are getting healthy. And where I want to go with that is the mental state of it. It helps us correct that so that we can move on the journey and correct the things that were holding us back. Yeah. Oh, oh I'm not sure why our little guy is not working. So on the agenda tonight, we're going to start with mindset. We all need to identify obstacles that don't serve us in our health goal, on our health journey. Then we're going to go on to skill set understanding the empowerment triangle and taking responsibility. You're probably going, what in a stinking heck is the empowerment triangle? However, we're going to talk about it tonight. We're going to kind of breeze through it, but it is in your handy dandy habits of health book. Mm -hmm. So then we're going to talk about the action that follows that skill set utilizing st strategies to bust through your weight loss plateaus. Again, there's that word bust. So we're going to help you hopefully overcome and bust through some of those things tonight. Oh, you want to talk about this quote from Dr. A? So Dr. A throughout his book <clears throat> has just statements that are nuggets. Mindset, like I was trying to refer to earlier, trying to. The key to regaining control, it starts with being self-aware. Mm -hmm. We need to create a pause in our lives so that we can create time for areas of higher thought to be present. Okay, now the reason why I pause there was that's exactly what we need to do. We need to stop and take a breath because the conscious thoughts can take over and they can put you back in charge. True. Dr. Wayne Scott Anderson. Thank you for that quote because it's such a reminder that we need to take a breath. Yeah, such good nuggets for sure. Um, so what is a plateau? We're gonna give you the exact definition of a plateau. But we know, as we go through the program, sometimes that a plateau is self-induced. So a little bit of that, a little bit of this, five and one-ish, modified plan, modified results. But then there is an actual plateau where you actually go two to three weeks with zero weight loss after being on plan 100%. Not 100%-ish, but 100%. And there's lots of ways to figure, to figure that out. A little key's not working over here. So we're going to go to our next poll. Um, have you had success busting through a plateau? An actual plateau where you're like, I know I'm doing all the things. Um, so let us know. Yes, I've learned strategies to break through. Or I'm currently experiencing a plateau and I'm excited to learn more. Right? That's exciting. Or no, I haven't experienced a plateau on this program. Um, I wouldn't say that plateaus are very common. I mean, not two to three weeks. I mean, this plan works if you work it, right? That's what I always tell my clients. This plan works if you work it. So really a plateau is not a super common thing, but it does happen. But sometimes friends, we do tend to create our own plateaus. So hopefully we will continue to get past those things and it's all part of the journey, healthy mind and healthy body. Um, so here is our first skill set, taking responsibility. So I think most of you think, oh, I'm signing up for a diet. Oh, little did you know, Optavia's like, no. We're gonna go through a mindset shift, we're gonna go through structural tension, and we're gonna guide you all the way to optimal health and well-being. You know, we start when we're in that diet mindset kind of closed, a little defensive, like, I've done it all. This isn't going to work. I'll probably only lose five pounds. Um, all the excuses in the book, right? We're committed to being right. We think we know it all. We've done every program under the sun and it hasn't worked for us. So why is this going to be any different? Friends, 
I think you might be wrong. So as we invite you into this Optavia community, we like to use a little thing called structural tension. It's really, really great. You can see it right here. When we go from that closed, defensive, committed to being right mindset, moving over to optimal health and well-being, we become open. We're curious. We want to learn. In fact, we become focused on learning. We're centered on our growth. And that means we have to be open to feedback from our coach, from Dr. A and his books. We become an abundant thinker, and that creates an action to get to the other side of this structural tension chart, which is optimal health and well being. So, with that skill set, we have the empowerment triangle. Tracy said I had to emphasize those words because we kept tripping on them <laughs> earlier. Empowerment. empowerment triangle. Now, if you're familiar with the drama triangle, this is virtually a 180 degree flip of what the drama triangle is. You know, when we encounter certain circumstances or situations, how Tracy was talking about our mindset, if our mindset is jacked up and we become the victim and we're blaming everything, we're down at the bottom of that drama triangle. But when we have the choice to switch that around and become the creator and become in creative mode instead of a reactive mode, we are then able to create our own story. Yeah, we become in charge of what happens to us. Like life is not happening to us, it's happening for us. Doesn't that feel so much better? Especially in a time like now, you know, just the world gets crazy, right? I'm in charge of what happens to me. I'm in charge of creating my new story. You guys repeat that to yourself. How good does that feel? Then we go from being the creator and we come back down to this left-hand side. I'm open and curious to learn. We just talked about that in the slide before, right? Obstacles are helping me be better. The obstacle is the way. Doesn't that sound wild? The obstacle is a way. What, what doesn't kill us makes us stronger, right? We've gotten through every obstacle that life has put in front of us so far. We're still here living and we're breathing. Obstacles help us get better. They learn and they grow and they stretch us and we come out stronger on the other side. Then we come to the last part, the coach. Doesn't that sound exciting? Like, wow, I'm learning some stuff over here. Maybe I can take what I've learned now that I'm in charge of what happens to me. I'm open, I'm curious to learn. Obstacles are the way. Let me help others get better. Let me be a inspiration. You guys, do you know that most of you on the other side of the screen that are already starting to be on our program and see these results, you're walking inspirations. Just the witness of watching you go through what you're going through is empowering others to be successful just by working on that best version of yourself. What a beautiful empowerment triangle this is. Take a picture of your screen and start getting in the process of doing these things. It's going to help you come out so much better on the other side. And when we start thinking about the empowerment triangle, uh, I want to introduce to you someone who I have watched be on every single side of this triangle. I am not going to cry. Um, and I want to introduce to you first my beautiful friend, Jen Downs, but she also just happens to be one of my clients and a phenomenal coach. So Jen, take it away. Oh, thank you, Tracy and Russ. I'm so excited to be here and to share a little bit about my beautiful journey when I was introduced to Optavia that I would be sitting here today, you know, in this position. So I am truly thankful. So I'm excited to share with everyone. Um, I have personally lost 165 pounds on this program alone. So, so thankful for this new life. Um, it really is a new life. You can't go through some type of transformation, but it wasn't just the physical, you know, there was a mental transformation that happened here. And, you know, that really is, you know, what's key. So I personally, I'm a teacher. I'm a single mom to a special needs child. I am a health coach, which I absolutely love. Um, this plan provides structure for people like me that have a busy schedule. And I know if I follow the plan, it works. So because it's backed by science, there's no guessing how to fuel our body. Um, Optavia provides all the nutrition, the mindset, and most importantly, the support 
all those are key to making this really sustainable for myself and for everyone else. Um, when I was first introduced to Optavia, um, I was very much encouraged to dig deep into Dr. Anderson's life book and the habits of health system. So I picked up the life book. The first step I did, wrote my name on the inside. That was it. Day two, I got into element one. So with the life book, what I love is it really gets you to focus on what is your why. Um, I lost my husband to cancer eight years ago and I was raising a special needs child with autism and some other um, challenges. So as you can imagine, this did create a lot of stress, which created a lot of emotional eating, which, you know, I was gaining weight and then this vicious cycle happened. So I am so blessed that something came along, someone came along, took my hand and said, I have the tools. I have something that will help you out of the cycle because obviously what I was doing was not working. So thank you, thank you to Optavia and to my coach for showing me the way. So for myself, as far as um, some tips for busting out of the plateau, losing 165 pounds, there were a few. Um, so number one, staying hip to hip with my coach. I know she has all the tools. She's done this. She's paved the way. So stay hip to hip. Um, number two, water and sleep. You know, that was usually the first question that my coach would ask, like, how's your water, Jen? How much sleep are you getting? And once I fine tune those, things started to happen. And then I really had to ask myself, number three, am I really sticking to five and one or am I slipping things in? Because um, I really had to really fine tune and make sure that I was giving it 100% and also stop challenge choose. We have a lot of holidays coming up. We have to stop. Dr. Anderson teaches us to stop, challenge what we're about to do, and then choose because everything nutrition wise is either getting us closer or further away from our goals. And I don't know about you, but I want to get further to my goals or closer to my goals. Never ever give up. You will absolutely give, get over the hump and I wish you well. Thank you. Amazing, Jen. Amazing. Uh, I don't think we actually spent enough time on Jen's picture. So we are actually going to show you real quickly uh, the change, the transformation. Can we get some comments in the chat for that transformation? Unbelievable. 165 pounds and counting. So, uh, so proud of you, Jen. Yeah, so proud of you. So we're going to kind of go on to um, getting into what are these tips for busting through, uh, you know, weight loss plateau. So Russ, take it away. You know, Jen jumped into those really easily. She said water. That is like the foundation of everything. Water. Make sure you're getting the water in. Fuel. Hey, fuelings, they're so important. It's all the nutrition that you need and nothing that you don't. Exercise, hey, if you're exercising now, cool. If not, talk with your coach. Work with your coach, like she said, hip to hip. Get with them and talk with them. Stress, that is one of the things that we don't necessarily know how much it affects our transformation and our journey until it's actually present. Mm -hmm. So we have to make sure that the stress techniques that Dr. A talks about in his book, throughout his book. Yeah. We were trying to figure out where, where does he really dive down into it? There's all sorts the of different book, pages. <laughs> the whole book he's giving yeah. us tools to control our stress. Yeah. I'm gonna flip to the next one. Yeah. Go for it. So sleep, Jen just mentioned it. I would always say, Jen, how's your sleep? I know you have a lot going on. Single mom, raising a kiddo. You know, guys, get seven hours of sleep a night. If you can, get more. Sleep repairs your body. It is a beautiful part of the journey. Um, if you're on some medications, uh, you know, if you're really experiencing a plateau, check your medication list. Um, maybe there's something that is blocking you or getting in the way. Um, you know, there are certain medications that, that kind of mess with, uh, with our weight loss, weight gain. So check on those. Um, coach, I cannot emphasize this enough my friends hip to hip is i i i think of it like super glue okay um you're doing the plan but your coach is guiding you um they are there for support and guidance they want to see you succeed it fills their love meter more than it might even fill your own okay nutrition support if you're stuck on something Maybe even a recipe where you're like, gosh, I've been making this. I'm not sure if, if it is exactly, or I've been, I've been eating this salad dressing or these nuts, whatever it is, 
take a picture of the back, ask nutrition support, maybe it's not approved on plan. Just because we think something's healthy doesn't always mean that it is. But kind of going back to number seven, which is a coach, um, we are gonna introduce our next guest who is just full of it. Um, and she has had a phenomenal transformation journey, maintenance journey, and um, her journey has been impactful for her in so many ways. I could, again, cry just thinking about it. So I want to introduce to you Austin Mario Renzi. Yay, you said it right. Thanks, Tracy. Hi, how about the health community? How are you all doing tonight? I'm really excited to share my story with you guys and kind of inspire you and help you get over any plateaus that you may feel like you're having. I had my very first son um, and talk about a plateau. The baby weight just suddenly stopped coming off. It was gradually dropping down, but then it just came to a halt. Um, I wasn't taking care of myself. I mean, you have a new baby, self-care, what's that? Any moms out there know what I'm talking about? Or even dads, new dads, we don't really focus on ourselves. And um, fortunately, a friend, my best friend had noticed and she um, is now my coach. She saw that I wasn't taking care of myself. She saw that I was struggling with my health. Um, I would go without eating the entire day and then eat everything in the kitchen after the baby went to bed. Um, probably like most of you, I hopped on a health assessment. I learned about the gift of Optavia and I jumped right in. So I was um, ready to go and continue on my health journey back to myself, basically. Um, it was the holidays. I had no idea what jumping into a health journey during the holidays, what kind of challenges that may present or not. But my coach was right there with me. I mean, it was Thanksgiving, Christmas, travel. I had all the excuses for the plateaus, right? Um, no, I didn't because I had the health system. I had the app. I had the community. Um, I'm happy to report that I was very successful. I was able to lose 30 pounds and be just the best version of myself and just be a good mom and just have energy. And um, it was incredible. I started sleeping well. Oh, it, it was truly, truly, truly life-changing. If you're on the program, you know that. And if you're a new mom, you know the lack of sleep that was there. And I still sleep eight hours a night, super excited to announce. Um, my coach was able to get me all dialed in, get me back on track. We had a plan. I was going to journal my food. We set alarms on my phone. I would dive into the Habits of Health um, system. I always have replay element number 16, which is addictive foods. I would listen to it on the drive to um, vacation or a family member's house. Um, we use the app now for reminding us when to eat. Um, just really communicating my goals with the people around me. So my family, or um, if we were going to an event, just communicating what I needed for my health and what my goals were um, made that really successful. So Stop Challenge Choose was obviously always used. And I love that because it is our, um, it is our, I'm sorry, I got distracted by a really good question in the chat. And it was, where do we find the, um, elements on recording. They're on the Optavia YouTube channel and it's amazing and they're all there. Element four and 16, those are my jam. Um, but I would just recommend diving into that, listening to those on your way, staying hip to hip, getting that super glue and gluing it to your coach and just staying really, really um, integrated into all of the elements that we offer. So um, yeah, that's it. That was awesome, Austin, awesome Austin. Is she just full of life and personality? Um, as she continues to be in maintenance, she just, you know, as she continues to go towards this best life, she just has more and more personality and excitement. So, um, so super excited um, to, to go on and just kind of wrap this up. How did you guys um, enjoy this community time? We're gonna take a poll, it's gonna pop up on the screen here in a second. Um, and uh, was it excellent? 
Was it very good? Was it good? Was it below average? Was it poor? Sure, you guys are gonna all post excellent. Um, and you know, I hope that you enjoyed our time, but we wanna leave you with some tools and then we're gonna leave you with a couple last minute tips to kick you off for Memorial Day weekend, which is coming up here really quickly. And real quick, if we can uh, get to the moderator, if we can get some of the results up from that, uh, that second poll, that'd be great that we oh, can yeah. share. So as, as we were waiting for that, Austin, awesome Austin, she threw out, YouTube. Come on, people. If you have not been there, you need to get there. It has everything. These recordings from Wednesday, they're up there and they've got all the elements. They've got habits of help. They've, it's just a great resource. The podcast, it's yeah. amazing. Throw it in your ears while you're working out. Come on. The texts too. Staying connected with community. This is a way when we can't be person to person. Yeah. Optavia 30 texts are great. Um, Really, honestly, you guys, we are what we fill our mind with. So can you imagine kind of turning off the TV, turning off the icky stuff of the world and just tuning in to what is going to, you know, move you towards that best version of yourself? It's Optavia, friends. It's Optavia. So, um, so super excited that you guys have been with us tonight. Um, and we are excited. Oh, let's talk about the poll real quick. Yeah. Um, have you had success busting through a plateau? Um, I love the fact that in red is 53% of you. I have not experienced a plateau in this program at all. Of course you haven't, Optavia family, because it's the best. Um, but there are some people, I've learned strategies to break through. That's awesome, way to learn. Um, I'm currently experiencing a plateau and I'm excited to learn. That was 28% of you. The first thing I'm gonna encourage you to do um, is do what I like to call a fine tune call with your coach. Say, hey coach, I'm really experiencing a plateau. Can you help me bust through this? Make sure you use the word bust because it's way more dramatic. Uh, but uh, you know, ask them to help you and guide you. So next week, we would love for you to join us um, Wednesday with Sam and Harold Prestonbach, Eating Strategies for Lifelong Health. Element 11. Sam and Harold are amazing and they are gonna guide us through um, through that that element. They're gonna be great. Yeah, you know, Sam and Harold, they're a wealth of information. They're, they've been in this um, health coaching for a long time now to where they've seen the challenges, they've seen the accolades, they've been through it all and you're not gonna wanna miss what they have to say. We're gonna leave you with about four tips to head you into Memorial Day weekend, okay? Have a conversation with your coach or at least have a conversation with yourself on what your plan is. If you are going to a barbecue, an outing, something like that, I'm not sure what you're doing, but have a plan, okay? I always say, walk in with your water in your right hand and keep it there the whole time and have your other hand loaded with a fueling or only choosing the right foods. You can find protein and greens at any barbecue, my friends. Make a commitment to yourself. Also, eat before you go. If you eat before you go, you'll be full and all the things on the, on the countertop, they won't appeal to you. Um, so just make sure, last but not least, stop, challenge, and choose. I'm gonna stop what I'm doing, challenge myself on the choice that I'm going to make. Is it gonna get me towards my goal or is it gonna bring me one step back? Okay, modified plan, modified results, guys. Choose the right choice. This journey is one optimal choice at a time. So we'll see you next week with Sam and Harold. And then you can join us um, also for the rest of what we've got going on tonight, inspirational stories of transformation. So we can't wait. So we'll leave the slide up and we'll come back and see you in a minute. Thanks for joining us, guys. Bye. This audio may have contained the personal testimonials of some independent Optavia coaches or clients of Optavia. The results relayed in these messages are based on the unique experiences of their participants and we cannot guarantee like or similar outcomes. While you may be inspired by these accounts, please note that any stories of success have not been verified and your individual path to optimal health will vary. As always, it is our recommendation that you consult with a healthcare provider before starting a weight loss program. In addition, 
This audio may have contained income or earnings representations of some independent Optavia coaches. Optavia makes no guarantee of financial success. Success with Optavia results from successful sales efforts, which requires hard work, diligence, skill, persistence, competence, and leadership. Please see the Optavia Income Disclosure Statement for statistics on actual earnings of coaches under the U.S. Compensation Plan, which differs from the International Compensation Plan. Yours in health, the Optavia team.